While day one storyline was decidedly targeted at alternatively powered vehicles, day two leaned towards the luxury models that also deliver unprecedented amounts of performance. Hi, I'm Steve Hammes, and this is your day two recap at the North American International Auto Show. With the Hemi on their brain and the overwhelming success of the 300 and Magnum, the Chrysler Group had the cleverest reveal of the day as the audience watched the Dodge Charger NASCAR racer transform into the production version of the Charger that will go on sale this summer as a 2006 model. Built alongside its aforementioned siblings, the Charger will be available only as a sedan with either a 250 horse V6 or the bad boy 340 horse Hemi. Putting the failed Blackwood in its past, Lincoln rolled out their new luxury pickup truck, the Mark LT, that goes on sale shortly. Accompanied by a custom bike designed by Orange County Choppers to match the LT's presence, this truck gets one engine, the 5.4 liter 300 horsepower Triton V8. But more importantly, the Lincoln Zephyr went from concept at the New York show last year to reality in Detroit this year. The goal of this attractive new V6 powered midsize get younger buyers into the Lincoln showroom. Having recently driven the awesome new 911, it was exciting to see that the Cabriolet versions of the Carrera and Carrera S are ready to go when the winter weather decides to leave. Hyundai's maturation continued in a big way with the introduction of the new 2006 Sonata. Designed with more upscale panache than any Hyundai before it, it's the first Hyundai to be built in the States when it goes on sale this spring. And from the looks of it, Hyundai is going to have a huge hit on their hands. Nissan's luxury division Infinity took the opportunity to show the production version of the new 2006 M, which goes on sale in February. Available with either a V6 or a V8 and ranging in price from near $40,000 to about $47,000, this sports sedan packs some serious performance, whichever you choose. They also displayed the future of Infinity interior design with the six-door Carraza concept. Along with the Sonata, another big hit of the day was the Honda Ridgeline pickup truck, which will house a 255 horsepower V6, automatic four-wheel drive, and innovative features like the in-bed trunk. This 2006 model goes on sale in March with a price range of $27,000 to $32,000. This will be big, so go make friends with your Honda dealer today. Ford's premier automotive group was up next with impressive new models from Land Rover, especially the Range Rover Sport, which gives the company a high-performance, highly capable SUV with a new aerodynamic design and athletic looks. Dealers have been taking orders since November, sight unseen. Yes, it's that good. And for 2006, there's a new full-size Range Rover, the first significant update to this luxury SUV in five years. And for Jaguar, their advanced lightweight coupe concept is the car they say symbolizes the company turnaround. If so, they should thank Aston Martin for their design. Toyota's flagship sedan is all new for 05 and hits showrooms next month. The U.S. designed and built Avalon gets a powerful 280 horse V6, roomy new interior, and will be available in four trim levels. And Toyota says, despite the enhancements, the price will remain under $30,000 to start. GM's final act of their three part play consisted of two big brutes. The new 500 horsepower 2006 Corvette Z06, the most powerful car ever built by GM, and the new race inspired supercharged 2006 Cadillac STSV with a whopping 440 horsepower. With radically new styling, the Subaru B9 Tribeca SUV is the company's first real sport ute. Powered by a 250 horsepower Boxer 6 and available with three rows of seating, the B9 Tribeca goes on sale this summer as an 06 model. And lastly, Mitsubishi had two important production unveilings of their own. Getting back into the truck arena with the Dodge Dakota-based Raider with a V6 or V8 option and four-wheel drive. And on the car side, the all-new Mitsu Eclipse is here. With totally new styling, the 2006 Eclipse will come in GS and GT trim levels, the latter with a 260-horse V6 and plenty of eye-catching features. I'll be back tomorrow for a wrap-up of Day 3. For Drive Time on Car TV, I'm Steve Hammes.